Okay, hold on. Hold your horses. Before you get into too big of a fuss, too big of a, uh, a, I'm thinking of other words, Terry, before you get your knickers in a twist, I, I, I know that there's, you know, a lot new happening right now, and I just want you to take a second to take it all in, just breathe with me, in through the nose, out with the mouth. Now, I, I just need, I, I, you know, I was planning on doing this whole, you know, intro, just regularly, just, you know, a little funny, funny hoo-hoo bit, haha. -ha. um, but I just, it was really on my heart, um, to just address, address everything going on, and, um, I... I just, I know that I mounted the Dory Fishbowl relatively, relatively, um, straight, and it's supposed to be off-center, and I, I'm, I'm sorry about that, but it is mounted, and, um, I'll fix it as soon as I can, um, I swear. Um, I know that that's really throwing a lot of you off, and, um, that's really, really gonna stick with you, but please, um, I, I'm gonna do my best in, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best in the future, so thank you for your support, um, through all these new changes, and, um, you know, let's, uh, let's stick with it. Am I right? Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome, welcome to Plant Update. So, happy December. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, here's the nice overview. Um, there's a lot of snow on the ground. Um, there's a lot of a lot of snow, but that that's okay. Well, there's not that much snow. There's like there's a, a significant amount of snow. Maybe that's an adequate descriptor. Anyways. Uh, I don't believe that there is a ton of change going on on the table, in all honesty. Um, but, let's, let's, uh, let's go through it, anyways. Because I do this every month. Um, so, we are entering, entering December, so, generally, we will see more dormancy, and we won't see a ton of, like, extreme growth especially in some of the succulents in the front area. So, I'm not as concerned about them. Eddie is genuinely showing promise, like, as a whole. Um, still very lush and green. Um, these are, these are dead. These are, this is not alive. Um, but that's fine. Um, and Bluetooth, Bluetooth is also adequately well. Um, and, like, doesn't seem to be stretching as much, but I don't know if that's because of like dormancy, or if that's because of the grow light, we'll find out in spring pretty well. Um, Holloway and Sands, nothing crazy. Sands kind of just grows whenever he wants to, and Holloway, like, legitimately, I think, is, like, since I got Holloway in, oh, I don't, I don't even know when, um, I genuinely think that Holloway has grown, even if the growth isn't as obvious as some of the others. Ahem, ahem, the spiders. Um, so yeah. But yeah, Sands, I might have to rotate Sands a little bit around. Um, but Hallway genuinely is doing quite well. I'm happy with where Eddie and Bluetooth are at. Um, now, rest of the front row, Jose and Cassandra. Cassandra's actually doing quite well. Um, I'm gonna actually rotate Cassandra. Um, we see some of, uh, so I've been doing some pruning on Cassandra. Cassandra is the plant I've done the most pruning with. Uh, to kind of get her to fill out a bit more. Um, so you can see some places where I pruned, I think, last week, roughly, um, to kind of encourage more growth lower. Um, and I think it generally is working. Um, yeah, so I, I'll probably continue that process, um, but Sandra is still kind of growing throughout the winter, which I was a little bit surprised by. Um, but Cassandra also, like, for a coal, not a coleus, for a succulent does take more water, so it doesn't surprise me that she acts a bit less like a succulent in the way of growing through the winter more so. So, yeah. 
And Jose, I similarly had to trim because he was just getting too tall and like too lanky. And I didn't want to have an Eddie situation where Jose just like, boop. Um, I don't know if people, I don't know if it's too far gone for people to remember the Eddie situation, but um, that's, that's how the accident is how we ended up where we did. So, R.I.P. Uh, Eddie's still alive. Um, I just, you know, the accident was a bit of a bummer. But inevitable. Regardless, let us not dwell on the past. So yeah, we'll see what Jose's doing. There is a little bit of stuff happening down lower, which I don't quite know what that means. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping Jose will fill out more, because he is very lanky. Uh, not to say that I don't appreciate his growth. I do. But he's very lanky, and I'd rather have him a bit less lanky. So yeah, back row, as always, doing pretty solid. Nothing too much to report. Um, the spiders are nicely filling out the space. Um, it is very encouraging to have plants that are just, like, green and big. Um, that is encouragement. The coleuses for a while had been encouragement as well, but the spiders are, like, really full around. Um, and let's do a little bit of, uh, so Charlotte, Charlotte's fine. Um, and let's do a bit of a check on Samson. Um, there's a lot going on here. Um, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let him pop off. I'm just gonna let Bestie pop off. So, yeah. Um, and then with the, the coleuses, um, Gwen is doing a bit of a dance with the grow light right now. Um, so that's fun. Uh, Gwen is also, like, just in general, if you look down here, it looks like a mess because of how many of Gwen's shoots I replanted. There are actually three unique stems down here. One, uh, I should actually check if this is focusing. One of them goes to here. One of them is creating this little one, these two, and this big one. And one of them is just creating this little one in the back, which goes to this one. So, like, Gwen's just kind of dominating this corner for funsies. Um, I might do a little bit of trimming on Gwen, because, like, some of it is, is, is a little... Gwen's a bit spindly. Um, Manus, here in the center, um, is doing a bit better. I, like, I did the rotating thing because all of Manus's leaves were on one side, and I didn't want them to just keep growing towards the window. The grow light should help that, though. So hopefully Manus will kind of start, like, circling it back. And then, um, Aldrich on the end? Nice as always. Um, yeah. Aldrich is doing very well, all things. I shouldn't say all things considered, because there isn't much to consider. The coleuses do still grow through winter pretty well. So, yeah. And um, the grow light seems to be serving serving us well thus far. Um, we upped the time to about four hours a night, because it's obviously less time, less sunlight in winter, and we are uh, in the in the thick of it, as they say. Um, well, not technically in the thick of it. It's so, so crazy that, like, the beginning of December is still considered fall. That's crazy. Seasons are crazy, man. But, yeah. Um, that's, that's about all I have to say. Um, oh, we do have some friends now in the back. Um, some little, little solar friends who didn't fit on the window, um, because the window is full, if you couldn't tell by the passing shots. Um... Full window of solar friends. So yeah. Um, not too much to report, honestly. Uh, it's kind of strange. Uh, since it was, since April, when we did the, the, the mass migration to the terracotta, um, generally everybody's been doing well since then. Except Letitia, RIP. Um, we miss her every day. But yeah, so generally things have been going really well. So yeah, thank you for tuning in to this month's plant update. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a good month. Happy holidays, season's greetings. I'd, I'd, I'm waving, but like it doesn't look natural when it's just the hand. So I, I just won't bother. Um, yeah, enjoy the month. Enjoy your time. Have a nice day, week, month end of the year. That's terrifying, but true. So anyways, in, uh, enjoy. Thank you for joining me. And uh, toodles. Bye-bye. Oh, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to hit you, Jose. I'm sorry.